Yo, what's going on, everybody? Matthias, I see you. I see you. What's happening? I'm not that late today. I'm right on... It's 510 where I'm at, so... I think we're good. We're good. Um, so... Uh, I'll give everybody a minute, you know, let this, let this thing start up, uh, cause I, I did a bad job at, at saying something that I need to say. What's going on, Kim? Enjoy, Tomcat. What's going on? Thanks for tuning in. We see, I think we got Jeremy in here as well. Eagle, what's happening? Alekia, Ale Alekia, what's happening? Uh, why did you? Sorry, folks, I'm just looking at the chat. I'm not sure what's going on there. <clears throat> oh, no way, I can do that now? Oh, I think I have the ability to. Oh, cool, cool. I'm gonna try. It. I'm gonna try something here. It's all good. I was just seeing something happen there. Uh. Anyway, folks. Uh, so tomorrow I'm doing a critique. So be sure to send in. Uh, One piece of art. Oh, I see. I see what happened. I got you. No worries. Uh, so send, send. Yeah, send in a piece of art tomorrow for critique, um, or send it in today, right now. Critique tomorrow. We got a critique tomorrow. Episode 120. Sorry, I'm getting off to a slow start here, folks. Is a lot of things happening here, I'm trying to get things situated. I want to test something real quick. It seems I can pin a message. I want to see if this will work. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being patient with me real quick. Uh, did that work? Message pinned. Okay, I don't see it pinned though. Oh, there we go. Let me know what you guys think of that in the chat now. Can you guys see like a pinned message now? It should be pretty cool. Okay, anyway, let's let's get started here. Um, so today we have the reference photo. I'll show you guys real quick. This, I thought the lighting on this was really cool. Um, you know, I thought this was, uh, yeah, I think the lighting was cool. We're going to try to get through this one. Hopefully. <laughs> there's a lot of shadow here. I know there's a lot of shadowing. Um, so that, if that's the height, I just need to figure out the width here. So we're going to try to... Do this with big angles, big lines, just to start out with. This is one of the methods that I use from time to time.
you know, I don't, I don't know if that's right or not. We're going to find out here soon. Try to get this uh, as close as I can. Alive about watercolor painting? Uh, what do you mean, Rita? I do those like every other day. I kind of alternate. I do pen and ink one day and then I do watercolor the next day. So that's how it, that's how it goes around here. So today is a pen and ink day. Tomorrow's critique. I really don't have much to critique yet. So I've been, I've done a poor job of promoting that uh, this week. I've been meaning to, and I forgot, of course, always happens, always happens. I always forget to promote the critique. So if you guys have anything to send in, definitely send it in. Like I said, one last time, not the last time, but there you go. Send one piece of art for anybody joining in to that email. Info at Schaefer Fine Art. Critique tomorrow, hopefully, if I can get enough. If I don't get enough, then, you know, we'll, you know, we'll, uh, I'll figure something out. We'll review some other art. We'll look at some of mine. We'll look at some other artists. And, uh, you yeah, know, we'll, we'll just we'll figure it out. But I know I have at least two so far, possibly. So I'm trying to figure out now, just trying to see if things end up lining up where I want, where I need them to. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty close actually. That's exactly where I want it to be. So it seems we're looking okay, doing okay so far. It's hard to see where this is going in the front. There'll be some grass in front of all this. going on Enrique what's happening uh, Peggy when do I do watercolor so if you go to your subscriptions page on YouTube it'll show you all the ones I have scheduled but normally so let's say Monday I do a watercolor so Tuesday I'm gonna do pen and ink Wednesday I'm doing watercolor Thursday I do pen and ink Friday I do watercolor like I just alternate uh, my live streams so I do pen and ink, and then tomorrow I would normally be doing a watercolor, but I'm doing a critique tomorrow of other people's art. And then the next day, Friday, I'll be doing a watercolor. So that's kind of how it goes around here. Every 10 live streams, I do a critique. So every live stream ending in zero, I do a critique. But other than that, I just alternate watercolor, pen and ink, watercolor, pen and ink, watercolor, pen and ink. Try to get through this one here. Uh, looks like he's kind of missing some ears here. Boy, I blocked this in. It's a little bit off. Let's see if this can. See if this blocking will still hold up. Thanks, Colin. I appreciate that. They said, I uh, loved your Lion Decker review. Yeah, that was a good one because I got from the museum I went to, I was able to get really close up, nice close up photos of it, of all his work. And uh, I kind of knew a lot about, you know, I got a lot of those other kinds of reviews like that. Um, 
But yeah, we could, I mean, if I don't get enough art tonight from other people, we can do something like that. We'll just look at some other art from other artists, other famous artists or whatever you want to call it. This looks like it's too low or something. Something looks off there. So yeah, so this needs to be up higher. So this whole curve is off here. It needs to be like up here. Curving in like that more. And this. Coming down more like that. Yeah, the structure of this thing is pretty interesting, pretty difficult. To me anyway. Let's see, where does the... So that lines up with... Alright, that's pretty close. I think it's a bit rounded. And then... So I'm just trying to line things up here. I got them pretty well lined up already, so... Just kind of confirming my guesstimates from the beginning. So this is kind of the front half of the body. You know, I don't have hours and hours here to kind of really figure out the proportions, so I kind of have to just go with something, you know? Let's see, where is... That lines up a little bit lower. It's pretty close. Silver Chariot, Epic Thunder, what's happening? Harry's Ideas, Idea Side, what's happening? Abriel. Cool, we're getting somewhere. Let's see, we're 12 minutes in. All right, not bad, not bad so far. We're doing, making good time, I think. Be able to go in with the pen and ink here pretty soon. It's hard to really see his eye. It's more of just a dark, darker spot overall. So that's what I'm working with right now. It's kind of what I'm seeing. Just a thick line here, kind of these lines going like this. Like I said, this will all be grass down here. I'm not too worried about the bottom as much. Just want to make sure I got most of the proportions, you know, pretty spot on, hopefully. It's always hard to see when I have to sketch so quickly and then by the time I get into the pin, sometimes I, I notice right away that something was off. Sometimes it's only off a little bit, sometimes off a lot a bit, a lot a bit. But, and maybe we're off here, probably. I bet the, I bet the whole width is probably off. Let's see. From here to here. 
Yeah, I think we got some major issues here. Let me do that one more time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got some major issues here, folks. Um, so this, it should be ending back here. So what that tells me is, so this height either needs to be higher. So if it was higher, that's what it would be doing. So if it needs to be higher, I don't want to change the height. So I would have to change the width. So like this whole, everything needs to move over. But I kind of like the way it looks actually. I, I feel like, I feel like it looks okay. Where's the problem at? Where's like the ear? This lines up pretty well. <laughs> Photograph taken moments before tragedy. Yeah, pretty much. Um, pretty much. Yeah, I'm having some issues here though. Uh, so I either need to increase the overall height, which I'd have to change a lot of things, um, at least if I want to match the proportions here. All right, let's let's do one more measurement. Let's see. So from the bottom of this paw to the top of the ear. Yeah. Is too long overall, which is very surprising actually. I tend to do that. I did that with the elk the other day. I made it too long instead of having that foreshortening. Hmm. Okay, I see what you're saying. Maybe the face, if I bring, so if we have this measurement, if I bring the face in, it would line up to there. But see, the face isn't, you know, is the face the problem? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's sticking out too far. I guess that's something I should measure. Okay, so from the nose to this line. Ah, see, it lines up. It makes sense. That's perfect. Okay, so it seems we're about four faces long, or four faces width, pretty much. Let's see how much this bear is. See, it's that's pretty close. That's actually pretty close. I have it like, it's only off a tiny, tiny little bit. It's four faces width. Yeah, that's actually right on, actually. I think I just keep going, you know? I think, uh, yeah, you guys are saying the face looks larger, but it's in proportion to the rest of my thing, so. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna look weird at this stage because of the lack of all the detail, the kind of the shadowing, the fur. But what about the face is large? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, it actually fits in the correct width, but the height doesn't, like this height compared to this measurement doesn't fit. So that would mean the whole back needs to come in. Hmm. I think we roll with it, you know what I mean? I think at this point we're 20 minutes in. I think, uh, you know, we're gonna have a little bit of proportions off. I can tell it does kind of look more squished now that I'm looking at it. Let's go to this other view. I can see kind of, yeah, you guys see in the bottom corner here? It's probably hard for you guys to see if you're on a phone or something, but. So mine is is definitely more squished looking. Oh boy. Well, 
What time will you go live tomorrow for a critique? Uh, I go live the same time every day, 5, 10 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The same time I went live today is when I'm going live tomorrow. So for anybody that just tuned in now, send in a piece of art. It could be a drawing, could be a painting, pastel, whatever you do. Uh, send it in, a photo of it for critique tomorrow. It's a critique episode tomorrow. Right now I don't really have anything to critique, so... If you want to see your art critique tomorrow, be sure to send that in. And uh, we'll be doing that tomorrow on the episode tomorrow. Greatly appreciate it. So my bear is squished, but if we don't, if we get rid of, if we get rid of the reference, I think it looks okay. So I think we just, uh, I think we just roll with it because the drawing on its own, it will look like a bear. It may look like a weird bear, but you know what? Whatever. Um, yeah, I guess I could just make the legs longer, huh? That could, but then kind of, it's not centered in the page anymore. Yeah, maybe it's the legs. Maybe I do need to make the legs longer. You're right, you're right, I see it, I see it. I see it now. Let's try and do that. Let's see, how much longer would I need to make them? So here. Oh gosh, way down there. That ain't gonna happen, I'm not doing that. Let's make them just a little bit longer. We could fix, we could just fix it a little bit, I guess, at least. But at this point, you know what, it's just, it's one of those things where I know I could improve it, but I don't want to sit here for two hours to draw a bear, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't want to do that. I don't want to put you guys through that either. So we just kind of, sometimes the bear just kind of, like Matias said earlier, we just have to bear with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's a little bit better. Not much, not really much, but Just needs the bear, just, <laughs> exactly. There's a lot of bear puns for this one. Yeah, to be honest, when I'm looking at this in front of me, like it's different with seeing it on the screen, but like if, if you're sitting here in front of me, like it looks fine as a bear, you know, if you just ignore the reference. So let's just roll with it, folks. You know what I mean? I think that's, I think that's what we do. We just bear with it and uh, we we'll have a nice little grizzly bear here. Because really my focus is on the lighting and the shading and stuff. The proportions, it'll all be masked away. And, and once I finish this drawing and this sketch and put it up on my website and, and have it, people look through my sketchbook, it's gonna look like a bear. It's not, you're not gonna be comparing it to the reference and going, wow, that doesn't look like a bear. There we go, dwarf bear, I like that. It'll be a dwarf bear, exactly. So let's just, We'll get into the inking process now. We'll just we'll run with it. We will run with it. We will run away from it. You know you can't run from a bear. They can run like 35 miles an hour and however many kilometers an hour for all you international folks. Like a million kilometers an hour. Cool. We got a we got a one critique. Somebody sent in a critique. Thanks for sending that in. Greatly appreciate it.
So you folks, sometimes you're gonna make mistakes and sometimes you just have to roll with it, you know what I mean? Just... Just roll with it. <laughs> Philip said, after this live stream, we should Google furless bears. Freaky, yeah. Thanks, Axe Giant. I got the email. That little ding you heard or whatever. That was my phone telling me I got an email. So, cool. Appreciate it. Look forward to looking at it later. Doing a critique tomorrow. Greatly appreciate it. And we got another one. Cool. Awesome. Thank you guys for sending that in. Try to make a good episode tomorrow. Good critiques. Good critiques coming. We'll just have a nice chill evening tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about the whole kilometer thing. I think it's like almost double, you know. It's a little bit different. It's like one and a half or something. I don't know. Too much math. I just use Google to translate that stuff. So I'm, I'm excited to use the white pen on this one. This one's gonna look cool, I think. I'm gonna do my best anyway. I don't wanna get too ahead of myself and say it's gonna look cool, cause sometimes that happens. And like, I'm really excited about one and then I do the drawing and it doesn't look as cool. So hopefully this one will look cool. The photo looks cool, but it doesn't mean the drawing is going to look cool. But I hope, I'm hoping. Do my best here, folks. Yeah, I see what you guys are saying now. The face looks a little long. Try to tweak it as I'm inking this thing. But see, I mean, once you ink it, I mean, you see it, it's like, yeah, it looks like a bear to me. It might look like a weird bear, but that's all right. We're all weird in our own way, I guess. So I'm trying to keep a lot of my lines broken to resemble some fluffy furriness, you know, not doing a lot of straight long lines or anything. Just trying to match the furriness of the bear here. And we got another. Henri, cool, we got another critique. Thanks for sending those in, guys. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, we got 93 people joined already. Cool. Uh, be sure to check out my website, shaferfineart.com. We've got some cool drawings on there. This is kind of drawings that I do on these live streams. All those are for sale. I also have some watercolor paintings for sale as well. So definitely be sure to check. Hey, there's another bear that I drew down in the center there. And I also have a support page where you can donate to me on PayPal, Venmo, Patreon. Band camp, all that kind of stuff. And uh, like I said, tomorrow, the episode tomorrow, we're doing a critique. Thank you guys for sending those in. We just got another one. So be sure to send in a critique. I do a critiques every 10 live streams. So every live stream ending with zero is a critique. So tomorrow, episode 120. Believe it or not, we already made it to episode 120 or live stream 120. So that's pretty exciting so we have a lot of black kind of really dark on this bear I'm not really sure how to handle all that um, I 
That's awesome, Axe Giant. You almost have uh, 100 drawings. That's cool. That's good. I'm getting there too, actually. Once I finish this sketchbook, I'll have almost 100. Oh, I, I just got some gray uh, paper in. So I've been using this tan tone tan. But once this one ends, this one's almost over. We got a few more pages. I'm going to be using the tone gray for quite a while. Just to give a different vibe, different look. And uh, we'll see how I like the look of the toned gray, how it compares to this one. It's hard to tell a difference of it with this camera. This camera doesn't really, it's not very saturated, unfortunately, but. All right, we got another one. All right, we're gonna have some critiques for tomorrow, sweet. Hopefully we don't get too many now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to put too much detail on this eye because when I look at the photo, I can't really see the eye. It's kind of like a dark area, but there's also it's just shadow or shaded around it. I'll try to just keep it more like what it looks like. Whew, there's going to be a lot of shading in this one. Definitely going to be a lot of shading. I wonder if I should do the white pen first, or do I just tackle all this dark down here? I'm not really sure how to, what kind of shading method I'm gonna do. Do I follow the form of everything? I mean, I think on some of this, the mid-tones, I wanna follow the form to create some texture and stuff. But for all the really dark, stuff you know I don't know I don't know I guess I'll just try to make it look furry yeah looks cool I guess we'll just Trying to add some texture and fur and stuff, keep it. Textured like that. So some of this fur, it's hard to tell which, which direction it's taking, so. I'm gonna have to do my best here. Art is so amazing. I aspire to become as good as as good at drawing, specifically watercolor. About how long does it take you to finish a watercolor piece? Animals specifically. You know, the animal ones take me a little bit longer. I haven't done many animal ones. Maybe, you know, I do like a nine by twelve, like this size. Anywhere from one to two hours for me. Uh, but, you know, it just depends on how detailed it is and how detailed I want to make it. But usually between one to two hours. If I'm really comfortable with the subject, you know, I can do it in an hour, hour and a half. So, just depends, but that's kind of... You know, if I do a small plain air sketch, if I do some smaller paintings, you know, they can take 30 minutes, 20, anywhere from 15 to... 
30 minutes, something like that. So that's kind of the range of my watercolors, how much time I spend on them. Um, Dura Duragoroth Chapman, no problem, man. He says, thanks for keeping things real, man. Well, that's what I try to do, you know, I try to just be myself. We just, just keep it real, basically. Uh, I'm trying to see which way this fur is going. It's very dark in this part, so we'll just see uh, what I can do here. It starts turning a different way slightly over this way this way. I guess it all depends on your perspective, which way, where are you viewing this animal from? So like right here is kind of the middle line where the fur kind of switches from one side, points from one side going to the other side. So it starts going this way compared to this way. Probably going to be jumping around a little bit here, folks, because just get bored with that one part. <laughs> um. oh, that's interesting. Okay. So Really hard to see what's happening here. Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Just making our way uh, with this drawing. Yeah, I'm debating on, on this. I don't really like what I did here, so I'm kind of debating on how dark to go and what to do with this. But at this point in time, we'll just try to fill in a value Keep it looking furry, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know. We'll just get one value in for the shadows and then see where I kind of take it next. Maybe I won't go as dark as the photo.
Okay. Have a good one, Tomcat. Thanks for tuning in. What's going on, Tim and RJ Smith? What's happening? How's everybody doing on this lovely evening? What's today? Wednesday? I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Wednesday. Um, going on Klein? What's happening? Peaches, what's happening? One of the furriest things I've ever drawn. Why did I pick this? I didn't really think I was going to shade it this way, but no turning back now, right? I think we just have to stick with it. And I'm going pretty fast here through this, through this nonsense. So I think we're doing okay. You know, 42 minutes in. Making good progress. I'll probably use the white ink pen soon just to see where I'm at, with the values and stuff. And what this thing might end up looking like. Thanks, Wolfie. I appreciate it. We're just in the beginning here, you know. We're not beginning of this sketch. Just trying to focus and get through this thing. 
But if you want to see more of my work, you can check out my website, uh, shaperfineart.com. I got other drawings like these. You guys may have seen in the past for anybody new tuning in. Or got a lot of other good drawings on there. This one's okay. It's coming out all right so far. Not, you know, not the greatest thing I've ever done, but maybe not the worst either. So that's always good to be somewhere in the middle. Still got a little ways to go, so you know we can still have time to fix this one up a bit, maybe. So I'll show you guys where we're at now. It's kind of where we're at. Uh, we're just missing some pieces here. And once I put that white pin on, I think we'll all be a little bit more happy. That white pin always kind of brings everything, gives more context to everything, you know. Thanks, Isa Isadella. Glad to hear that. Infography Tamil, what's happening? Yeah, I've never done something this textured, really. I don't feel like. Um, hope I didn't miss any questions or anything. Uh, but if I did, just ask it again. And I'll try to see it, of course. Not going too dark with anything right now. Trying to do, kind of doing that on purpose. Um, I don't want to go too dark if I don't have to. Because the more dark I do, the longer it's going to take me to finish this thing. <laughs> but I may end up having to go a bit darker overall, at least with the feet and everything. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. See how this thing ends up coming together. So I want to let some of the tone of the paper do some of the work. I think more around here, it's going to be the tone of the paper. And up here as well. And then almost, we're just about to put the white pen on, I think. I just want to get through this leg a little bit more. And then, uh, do I do classes? You would love to watch them. Uh, not yet, not yet. I'll say that. I'll say I don't do classes yet. All right, let's, let's get the white pen. Actually, let's do a little bit of grass. We'll give it a little bit of environment here. As I always love to do. I can kind of loosen up a bit here. I'm gonna put some white grass down as well.
but this will just give it a little more realism, a little more environment, makes it feel like he's grounded. I'll try to give a little bit of shadowing as well. The light seems like it's hitting him from the other side, so like all the shadow would be, you know, pretty much this whole thing would kind of be shadowed for the most part. So I'll try to use the white pen to kind of illustrate that. So I'll put like some lighter, more white grass around here on the sides. So it looks like, yeah, the shadow's going off this way. So It's hard to see it in the photo. I think the sun's pretty much setting in this photo, so it's not a very strong light on the ground. So it's kind of, it's hard to see it. Yeah, teaching classes is pretty difficult, you know. Um, it just depends on how comfortable you feel. I mean, I've done it for a few years. I mean, I've, I have in the past, like I've done classes in person, I've done it on the computer, you know, I've done a few things like that. Um, it's not too difficult for me because I'm just used to talking about all this stuff. I, I kind of know it pretty well. But it, it's difficult, it's definitely difficult, especially in the beginning. Yeah, I did one, it was a painting class many, many years ago, and it was in front of a group of people, like 15 people. And, yeah, it was pretty, it was, uh, it was pretty challenging. You know, it was a bunch of people that really didn't know how to paint, and it was just kind of a one-time thing, and, you know, it's not kind of a class I wanted to teach, really, but it was interesting. So there we go, we got a little more environment there, I like that. <clears throat> Yeah, I guess Sean is not gonna be able to conquer the world. Nightbot took care of him, took him out. We got the AI to take him out. Cool. <laughs> Bears are just basically massive dogs. Yeah, kind of, I guess so. Massive dogs that will eat you. How do you make the grass blend in with the bear that good in a short amount of time? That is impressive. Oh, I did it just the way, uh, just the way I did it. That's how I did it. <laughs> just sit there and draw a bunch of stuff like that. This is, yeah, I've been using the 05 pin still. Uh, that's the one I've been using for this thing. So still with the 05 pin. I was thinking of getting a pack of 03s, stuff like that. Um, so it looks like the lightest areas are right here, like down here and up here like the thickest, brightest areas. At least, come on, white pin, draw for me. There we go. There we go, folks. I'll zoom this in and then uh, when I zoom out, we'll see what it ends up looking like. Make it a little suspenseful. So I'm just gonna like try to control the brightness by how close together I put strokes, you know, how far apart and how many. That kinda can help control the how bright you want something to be. Or dark as well if you're using a dark pen. Let's 
zoom it out a little bit. There we go. So this is where the drawing always, not always, but almost always comes together. And this, this part always kind of tells you like, hey, is your drawing working or not? You know? But I always love this part of the process. Because so many people like doubt what I was doing, like, ah, it doesn't look that great. And then once you add the light to it, it's like, wow, that really makes it pop, you know? It's always fun seeing the comments and the reactions to that kind of thing. Because I'm surprised as well. Every time I do it, I'm like, man, this really came together. I'm so surprised. So hopefully this one will come together too. That's what I'm trying to say. See, we have, it's interesting, we have light back here, but it's actually a lot darker because it's like showing the color of the fur. So I'm wondering if I should put maybe just a little bit back there. Yeah, there we go. There's a lot back here. A little bit anyway. <clears throat> What's going on, Michael? Thanks for tuning in. Doing all right. Oh, man, you ran out of bear puns. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, trust the process, exactly. Trust the process, don't trust bears. Because they'll eat you. They'll either eat you or they'll steal your Coca Cola, I guess. If you have any. Guess if you don't have any, then they'll eat you. So, guess that's how it works. It's Bear Law 101, I think. So let's see where we're at here. Really nice looking. Let's see, is there any other opportunity for some light on this thing? Let's try to connect this chin a little bit more. You know, there's a little bit here we can, if we space it out more, we can, we'll just transition it a little bit in some areas from That rim light to the mid-tone, you know. And we can at least try it, I guess. There we go. Yeah, I think it needs just a little bit of a transition here and there. Have I used have I have you used color ink pens for these before? No, I haven't. I don't have any colored ink actually. I think I looked that up once, but I didn't end up getting anything. I didn't end up buying any colored ink or anything. Could be interesting. Could be interesting to try on this toned paper having some colored ink. 
I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm up for experimenting. You know, in the past I've used those like, I've tried these Prismacolor markers and stuff. It's a bit different though, and they kind of bleed through the paper, unfortunately. So using some colored ink might be, uh, might be cool. I've, you know, people have mentioned that to me before. I just always forget to go and research it, look it up again, look it up more. Just bringing a little more light to this thing overall, or trying to. Just a few areas of really strong reflected light that kind of helps separate things. So, just trying to lightly put that in there, down there. I may have to go over one more time, just a little bit more dark in this area, but. I think I'm looking okay. I think the bear's looking okay. See, I've forgotten about the proportion issue, you know. It looks like a bear to me. <laughs> the, you know, the messed up proportions I had in the beginning, it's kind of not even on my mind anymore. Except now that I'm talking about it. look like the light is hitting the top of the grass down here. I'm gonna add a little more black in front of this white as well, just so that we have a little bit more dimension. Maybe clump it a little bit more, just on certain areas where more light would be hitting. Yeah, I think this is coming out pretty well. I think this is coming out pretty well, guys. Didn't really expect that, actually. I think the bear looks very friendly. <laughs> ah, yeah. Is your bear a barbarian or just savage and wild? <laughs> oh man. I love it. How often do I post? Well, I live stream Monday through Friday. That's when I do the live streams. Uh, for anybody tuning in, be sure to send in tomorrow. We're doing a critique episode. So send in one piece of art. Don't actually send in the art, send a photo of the art <laughs> uh, to that email address, info at shaverfineart.com. And I do art critiques every 10 live streams. So every live stream ending in zero tomorrow is episode 120. And then the next live stream will be episode 130. Uh, also check out my website, shaverfineart.com. Got some cool drawings on there, like the ones you see here and some watercolor paintings. So every day on the streams, I alternate between pen and ink, and then the next day I'll do watercolor. So that's kind of how it goes, pen and ink and watercolor back and forth, back and forth. So today is a pen and ink day, and that's what I'm doing now. And we're just having some fun here, folks. Kind of like I talked about the other day, you know, it's just about having fun. And we have another critique right on time. Cool, thanks. Thanks for sending that in, folks. We're gonna have a 
We're gonna have a long episode tomorrow. All right, I feel pretty good about this one. Um, I think let's let's try to go a little bit darker. Uh, Cubs win says, do you have a lot? Do you have lots to critique? Well, I actually, um, the only emails I've gotten are from today. I have one, two, three, four, five, six from today, and I may, I think I have two other ones. So I have like eight so far. I mean, that's a pretty good number. You know, the less I have, the more time I can spend on them. But, uh, you know, normally I have like 12 or 13 or something. And I do like four minutes on each one, basically. But yeah, so far, I mean, we got a little number, good number from today so far. Just adding a little more black here. Maybe we can add, try to get a little more shadowing going kind of ground this thing just a little bit more. Okay. I guess we'll just go a little bit darker here. I don't really need to match the photo exactly. You know, we don't have to sit here and darken this thing completely. But I think just a little bit more darkness might be beneficial just to boost the contrast a bit. Just in the darkest areas. That way we get a clean, kind of a more separation between dark, light, and then the mid-tones that I have here. So that's all I'm kind of focusing on. Hope that makes sense. Uh, Paul asks, how do you know when to stop? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, sometimes I don't, sometimes you don't. But normally you stop when you said the thing you want to say, right? So you need to have in mind before you begin, you know, what, what's the point of this one? What are you trying to say with this one? What are you trying to convey? And for me, I wanted the contrast. I like the lighting effect here. And for me, I think darkening this just a little bit more will enhance that lighting effect. So after that, I will assess it, see if it needs anything further, more light, more dark, etc., etc. You know, fixing up any of the line work. And then it'll be done. That's kind of how it works, you know, you just... But yeah, a lot of the times you want to stop. You don't want to overwork it, you know. And it, that's very hard to do. I mean, the watercolor I did yesterday, I kind of overworked that one. At least I feel I did. Um, a lot of people like that watercolor from yesterday, so it's pretty good. But, you know, it's just one of those things. It's all personal taste, and it's just me as an artist feeling like what I, how I'm used to creating and what I know I could have done and what I wanted to do it doesn't always come out that way. You don't always get what you want, unfortunately. Cool, sounds good, Wolfie. I'm looking forward to that. Um, Awesome peaches. Have a good time. Have a good one.
Thanks everybody for tuning in once again. Yeah, I think that looks, I think we're getting better. See, we're getting a little more dark here. And it still looks pretty furry. I'm literally just kind of scribbling this in. But like I said, I probably won't go super, super dark. I'm not gonna go like black all the way. I just wanna boost the contrast in certain areas. Kind of connect all the major darks a bit more. I'm trying to simplify basically. You know, I'm squinting at my reference photo to see like, you know, where to, where does it just dark at? And I'm kind of just trying to see if I can connect all that together, all that darkness. So we're kind of getting this flow of darks here. <laughs> the nose be long. Yeah, it kind of is, but better for eating, I guess. What do you draw whenever you're not recording? Um, lately, I don't really draw if I'm not on these live streams, to be honest. This is like the only time I paint or draw lately has been on these live streams. So you're seeing all of it. Um, when I do plain air, I record everything. I've done a few watercolors, and in the past I've done a few watercolors and a few drawings in the studio that I didn't record. But uh, lately, last few months, um, you guys have seen everything, everything I'm doing. It's just the way I roll, it's just how it goes. I figure, you know what, if I have time to sit down and draw every day or paint, why not just stream it or record it, you know what I mean? like. With this camera that I have now, it's so easy to just turn it on, stream, got the microphone here next to me, we just do it, you know. Um, what is, what's the largest paper you've ever, you, uh, blah, blah, blah. what the largest paper have you drawn ever on it? What's the largest paper I've ever drawn on? Um, I don't know. I don't know, that's a good question. I don't really like drawing big, you know, maybe 14 by 17 or 18 by 24 or something like that. But yeah, I don't really like, I don't really like drawing very big. It's just not my thing. I don't really like painting very big either. I mean, painting very big is a lot of fun but when the painting doesn't sell and you have to keep that thing, it kind of sucks. And I have that problem right now. I have a lot of big paintings in my closet that are framed that aren't doing me any good. They're not doing anybody any good. They're just literally wasting my space and I don't like it. So I like to do smaller things, more affordable things, people, stuff that people enjoy stuff in sketchbooks like this, where all I have to do is keep a sketchbook. Yeah, I don't really like do doing big art. I used to think like I have to do big art to make a living from this thing, but there's so many other ways to make a living now. Like you don't have to like do big art anymore. It's not like a it's not a criteria anymore, you know? Whew. 
Yeah, I think I think darkening up that really helped. I think now the belly is kind of sticking out too much in a way. There we go. Oh, maybe his belly should have been bigger, but we got a slim, slim bear here. Slim bear. Maybe this needs to be darker up here slightly. Well, what do you guys think? I think this one came together pretty nicely. I was kind of, I'm kind of surprised. And we're an hour and 16 minutes in. So this is what you can do in an hour and 16 minutes. You know, if you got the time, you just, Lay some lines down and relax. Don't think about anything. Try not to think about too much anyway. And just enjoy yourself. Thanks, Albert. I appreciate that. They said, just want to say thank you for your tutorials that are easy to understand. Thanks. I'm glad they are. We have someone called the real Schaefer. The real Slim Schaefer is here. <laughs> oh, geez. We're gonna be banning folks. Thanks everybody, appreciate it. Um, I don't know, what, what more? Draw some little floating things. Kind of like adding texture. Like he's in the environment. There's a lot of little things flying around and atmospheric and things and Okay. Let's see, so I just put down like all this little just makes it look a little more natural when it's all zoomed out. You know, it's like. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one, guys. Pretty happy with this one. Let's try to make this shadow a bit more of a shadow, I guess, coming this way. Got more of a shadow there now that he's casting. And uh, I can just add a few light pieces of grass in front of it just to give more depth, show that there's There we go. Now we have some grass in front of his paws and stuff down there. Now he's really in the environment. Well, so much for that, uh, you know, the proportions are off a little bit. Matias says he can barely see any imperfection. Looks very <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, folks, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you like these videos. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, check out my website one last time. Got some drawings. Here's the other drawings I've done before. A lot of interesting stuff going on there. Other watercolors. Be doing a watercolor at the end of this week. We have a critique tomorrow. I also have the support page where, you know, I got t-shirts, donate. PayPal, Venmo, Patreon page, Bandcamp instrumentals, music that I make on the side. 
uh, check all that out. Also, have a critique tomorrow. Just send in one piece to critique to info at shaperfineart.com. But uh, there we go, folks. Um, glad to hear you already subscribed. Cool. Yeah, so this is what you can do in about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, something like that. You know, um, might take some practice, of course, but it is possible. The important thing is to have fun. That's what I've learned. The most important thing is to have fun. I'll show you guys a different view of this thing just a little bit so you guys get an idea of what it looks like. So I really like the lighting on this one. I think it came together pretty nicely. So yeah, I'm happy with this one. Definitely happy with this one. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the critique. Um, have a good one this year. Hope everything goes well with your baby and all that. Um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in anyway, everybody. Uh, yep, good luck with everything. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys. See you guys tomorrow for the critique. And Friday for the watercolor. I'm looking forward to the to the watercolor. It's going to be a fun one. Definitely a fun one. 